no matter if you're doing CAD or daily, you are going to uh, be dealing with a cross section of society in the United States. So you're going to have $1.5 million houses above maybe, and you're going to have $50,000 houses and mobile homes and things like that. So you, so you, and you treat every single person as though they're in a $1.5 million house is what I, I kind of, kind of my, the way I feel about it. Right. So, um, one way, if, and again, Jeremy's right. Like you're not going to be like have authority to make coverage decisions on every single like assignment or deployment that you go on. They may just say, Hey, we just need you to go out, take pictures, um, get measurements, write an estimate, turn it in. We'll make a decision and we'll call the insured and tell them if it's covered or not. Right. And then we can, we can bill off of whatever. Um, other times with other carriers, they may say, listen, you're a licensed adjuster. You know, you are trained. We expect you to do everything, make the coverage decision in the whole nine yards. Um, if you are responsible for doing, making the coverage decision um, and it's a denial, you know, the, the final thing I'll say on this is that, is that a lot of companies will give you the option to do this. And if they don't, you could probably do it anyway. But there's a way to kind of soften the blow. And one way is to, it's a little bit of extra work, um, but especially I'll do this for folks who seem like they um, may need the extra help, right? So maybe they are, they're, they've never had a contractor at the house before. They have, they're clueless, right? Um, a lot of times elderly people, people who are living alone. Um, sometimes there's a lot of people. I mean, like, like I said, you're going you're gonna to meet people from every single walk of life, period. I, I've probably been in a half a dozen hoarder houses where they've got a little path through everything and there's stuff stacked up to the ceiling, right? Those people deserve the same kind of compassion and the same kind of respect and dignity that you would give somebody, you know, who's... Absolutely. Also, yeah, and I, I did... Uh, um, what's his name? Um, well, I won't go into that, but I, I had a, a senator a representative's house in Wisconsin. I can't really get his name. Um, anyway, same thing I would give to that guy. Right. So this, the same thing I had that guy's claim. Right. Um, and you, but you can say, you can say, listen, you know, this you, you made your denial. It's not covered. You know, I will say first, I'll say if, if you have a contractor or work, you know, some kind of a water mitigation company come out here and they find a different source if they say we can we can point over here and say this right. is actually where it came in right call me back because i'm going to come right back out here right. and we're going to do we're going to take care of this in the meantime what i'm going to do is i'm going to spend a half an hour or less as we're going to see in tomorrow's video on adjuster tv i've got your video coming up uh jeremy's tomorrow sit yes. down and write an estimate write an estimate for the damage that you see it's not covered uh, some some insurance companies are going to have a uh, uh, opening statement that says this is not a, a settlement thing. This is a for your convenience to have to, to, to use as a reference when you have when you have contractors out. Your claim is not covered, right? And then write them an actual estimate for the damages, right? The carpet, the dry, drywall, baseboard, etc., right? And then print it out and hand it to them. That's what I would do and say, listen, you know, this is this is the ballpark of what you should be spending here if, if you hire a contractor to do this work. Um, so I don't want you to, you know, it's twelve thousand dollars. If some guy comes in and says it's thirty-seven thousand dollars, maybe question that and call me, right? I make myself available for this kind right. of thing. So I'm there. I'm supporting them after saying, listen, we can't take care of it, but I want to try to help you on the back end a little bit. And occasionally you get a call. Most of the time, people have their friends and family come over and help them with stuff, and then they just move on from there, right? Um, it's not cool. It's not fun, but it is an opportunity to help to to nudge the conventional wisdom a little bit away from insurance companies are trying to save money and they're trying to like drag their feet on everything. If you can be, yeah. you know, it's, it's like hearts and minds one at a time, but it, I think, it, you know, in the long run, I think it's the best way personally to, to kind of run your claims business is to, is to, to take that attitude. <laughs>